This video was brought to you by Dispatch EV. Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Today I'm here with my Cybertruck and we're doing the thing that no one else has done yet. We've seen a lot of people shoot the uh, metal body of the Cybertruck, but no one yet has actually gone ahead and broken the glass. So we've got all the balls necessary. We've got baseballs like what Franz did at the actual delivery event. We've also got the steel balls. So we're gonna go all the way up to the top of that. And I've got my friend who's an Ironman athlete here. So if I can't break it, I'm sure he can. Let's get into it. If you don't already know why we're making this video, let me see how quickly I can get you up to speed. Back in 2019, Elon Musk and Franz von Holthausen unveiled the Cybertruck, a product that basically immediately went viral because of one moment. Oh my fucking God. They claimed that their windows were bulletproof and they had a steel ball bearing as a good analog to prove it. Then they tried the back window and it broke too. Let's try the right. Let's try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh man, it didn't go through. Fast forward to the opening of their Texas factory, the Cyber Rodeo. I was actually there front row, and when they brought the Cybertruck on stage, they talked about the timelines and faked like they were gonna hit it with their microphones. I was there with a similar sized ball bearing, asking them to do it again. You want me to do it? After a little uncomfortable laugh, Franz ended up saying, Next time, next time, I promise, I promise. Fast forward again to the first deliveries of the Cybertruck, and unfortunately, they only brought a baseball to that event. Yeah, so anyway, it's the, the, it's, the glass is tough. That brings us to today, and I'm here in my Cybertruck wondering, is this glass still bulletproof? All right, I'm gonna cover up the interior so that way we can prevent glass shards from getting everywhere. And then just in case, let's also go ahead and fold up the rear seats. All right, ready? First things first, we're gonna throw the ping pong ball. It's just a test uh, to confirm that we've got everything lined up for our cameras. Here goes nothing. All right, next I've got a Titleist Pro V1 golf ball. You know, if you had a painted car, this could do some damage, but on stainless steel, we're good to go. All right. Go ahead, Gabe. After that, we've got a hardcore baseball. This is the same kind of baseball that Franz used at the delivery event, which, you know, is good, but I wanna get all the way up to the point that we're at the uh, steel balls that he used at the original unveil. Let's try the baseball. Here we go. Nothing. All right, I think I got, yep, yeah, I got the glass right there. Next, we've got the cue ball. I don't know where you'd have this hit you if you were just in your Cybertruck, but let's just say you're outside of a uh, pool hall and someone went a little too crazy. Let's try that. This, this feels so wrong. <laughs> Ooh, a little high. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go again. <laughs> One of our goals is to miss the metal uh, obviously the metal should be bulletproof, but uh, there's no reason for us to challenge that. And I did kind of just hit it on the edges of the uh, metal there. And it actually looks like it's fine. So let's continue on. You can see it actually, we damaged the pool ball there. It's cracked. All of that brings us to our three metal balls, our steel balls. We've got a one inch ball, a two inch ball, and the three inch ball that Franz actually held at the Cyber Rodeo. I held this front row, and now we're gonna see if it can break the glass. One inch steel ball bearing in three, two, one. <laughs> I've got a two inch steel ball bearing. I'm a little bit more worried about this. This thing weighs probably Maybe a pound, maybe a pound and a half. And again, it's solid steel, so this, this will do some damage. Two inch steel ball bearing in three, two, one. Oh my God. Whew. That one left a mark, I think. Can you see that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just a little mark. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> uh, do you want to say anything to this camera before you go or? No? You no. just want to throw it? Yeah. All right, so two inch steel ball bearing, 
Out the cyber truck. It feels so wrong. Just a little surface scratch. It's incredible. <laughs> All right, our final ball that we have, a three inch steel ball bearing. This thing weighs about five pounds. I really don't want to miss with this. I don't want to hit any other part of the truck. Again, the steel panels should be fine, but the mirrors, the uh, middle glass, uh, this is ideally driver's glass. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh my God! <laughs> wow! I can't even see where it hit. All right, because I couldn't do it with the steel ball bearing, I'm gonna have my buddy Gabe here. He's a triathlete. He's gonna go ahead and throw the five pound steel ball bearing at the driver's window. You think you can break it? I don't see how I couldn't break it. This feels very uncomfortable, but let's get after it. All right. Oh my God. I wanted to break. Um, okay, so now we're gonna throw it a couple more times just to see if we can get it. As hard as you can. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I can throw a little harder. That yeah. was pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm shocked. I can't believe this. Three inch steel ball bearing round two. Full power. Three, two, one. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Yeah. <laughs> Second time's a charm. All right, Gabe, round two. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> 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 nice hit. All right, let's take a look at the footage here. Oh, oh. phenomenal <laughs> shot. Look at the flex on that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nice work. Thanks, man. <laughs> that, I mean, it didn't go through, obviously, so no. it's still, I mean, that's, you can still use that window. I kind of want to open the door. Wow. Whoa. That's crazy. I think I should leave it. It's so the, the, Yeah, the, so it's laminated. So the outside broke. The inside's still not even cracked. I'm not seeing any cracking on the backside. I can just run my hand. Wow. That's insane. Very cool. Any final thoughts, Gabe? I'm just glad we did it. I was getting worried there. <laughs> All right. Try that on any other truck. <laughs> That's incredible. Throw the ball out of the kit. Yeah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to. No? I mean, I can do little tippy taps. Yeah. More, All right. That's more than a tippy tap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Off to uh, service to get this thing repaired. <laughs> Before even getting started filming this video, I reached out to test the service to let them know that either my driver's side front or rear glass was gonna be breaking, and they were able to provide a quote and let me know that they had the parts in stock. So we're just gonna head in there and hopefully they'll be able to fix it same day. All right, here we are later that same day and uh, Tesla service came through. I had already confirmed they had the parts. I already had a service appointment scheduled. So uh, after shooting that video at 10 a.m. this morning, uh, they replaced the glass and yeah. I, they were nice enough to give it to me, which is pretty cool. Franz, if you have a chance, I would love to get you to sign it. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. And a lot of people are gonna be worried about how do you actually get out in an emergency. So obviously, this would be an extreme situation. The power is lost. You're unable to roll the windows down. Let's go ahead and try the glass breaking tool in three, two. This did nothing. Yeah, I mean, I could just, I could just polka dot it basically. It'll crack it uh, and that'll help you get out in an emergency, but <laughs> that one didn't even crack. Cool.